Hello, this is Alyssa Aerosmith, and today we're going to learn about how to create a close reading activity for your students using Google Forms. So right now you can see I'm in my CMS Google Drive account, and I'm going to come up here to the New button and go to More and select a Google Form. Once I'm in my Google form, I can go ahead and give it a title. And then I'm going to go ahead and start creating my questions. So I want to make sure I collect the student's name. And I'm going to make that a short answer question so they can just type their name in for me. And I'm going to require that question so that I know I will have their name for sure. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the site readworks.org. I love this site because it's full of great nonfiction texts for every grade level. Um, and I've already picked out the text that I want to use. It's called 321 Blast Off. Um, if you don't already have a readworks.org account, you can just make one. It's totally free with your CMS email address. Um, so I went ahead and did that before I started this video just to save some time. So I, I found my passage, and I'm going to download it so that I can view it full screen. So in order to get it into my Google form, what I'm going to need to do is take some screenshots of the text. So there's a few ways you can take screenshots. Um, I'm using a Mac, so on a Mac you can hit Command-Shift-4 and take screenshots, or I could use um, the extension Snagit in my Chrome browser. Um, also from a lot of desktops and laptops, if you look in the Start button, there's the Snipping tool, which is great for taking clippings of the screen. So I'm going to use um, my Mac's ability to take screenshots by hitting Command-Shift-4. And I'm just going to take a screenshot of the parts of the text that I want. So I'm going to take one of the beginning here. And then this is kind of a longer text, so I can choose whether I want the kids to read the whole thing for the first read or just focus on a selection. So I'm just going to take a couple screenshots here. And let's say that this is the first day that they're reading this text. So I'm going to have them read this first section, A Space Adventure, and then stop there for today. Okay, so I've taken my screenshots of the ReadWorks passage, so I'm going to close that up, and now I'm going to come back to my Google form. So I already asked for their name. Now I'm going to add an image using this little button here on the side. So mine are on my computer, so I'm going to choose an image to upload. If you use the Snagit extension, they'd be saved in your Google Drive, so you could take them from there. Um, and mine saved to my desktop. So here they are. So I'm just going to put the first one first. And it'll load. There it is. And then I'm going to add the next one. So I'm going to click on the Add Image button again. Choose my image to upload. Get my second one. Perfect. And then I'm going to get my last one. Oops, wrong thing. If you ever put the wrong thing, you just hit that little trash can and get rid of it. I want the picture button, add image. Choose my image. And that one. So you could see how if I continued this process and I took screenshots of the entire passage, I could load them all in here and they would all be here. Uh, and the nice thing about this too is you notice before each passage it gives image title. Well you can put a title or I like to put the directions here. So um, please read the passage below. Okay, so now under my passage I'm going to put a question. So this was their first read, so I'm going to ask them to write the gist.
And I like to give them a word limit just for a little extra challenge. So I don't want multiple choice. I'm going to make that a paragraph answer and then make it required so that they all answer that question. Okay, so there is my first read. I have the entire passage and I'm asking them to give me the gist underneath after they've done reading. So now I'm going to come over here and hit this add section button. It looks like an equal sign. And this is going to make a new page in my Google form. So now I want them to complete the second read. And let's say that we are focusing on the concept of um, cause and effect. So I can say um, identify two cause and effect relationships in the following section of the text. And maybe this time, instead of putting the entire text there like I did up here, I want to just focus in on a key part. So I'm going to come back down. I'm going to hit that Add Image button again. And I'm just going to choose the part I want them to focus on. So maybe it's this part here. And then I need to add a spot underneath for them to answer questions. So what caused Mia to be interested in space? Okay, let's pretend that's a good cause and effect question. It's text-based, um, so they need to look into the text to find that answer. And again, I'm going to give them a paragraph answer. You could also give them uh, multiple choice if you wanted to make it a multiple choice question or any of these other options. Okay, and I could add a few more questions too if I wanted um, and then I could decide if I wanted them to be done there after the second read or if I wanted to even add another section and have them do a third read of the text. So let's just stop here for now so you can see the final product. Um, so I always like to make sure I give my form a title so I can find it later. And now I'm going to embed the form into Canvas. So I come up here to my Send button. I'm going to switch it to the embed code. And then I'm going to copy this code here and come into Canvas. And I'm going to open the course that I want to and I'm going to come down here and create a page for my Google Form. So if I want to add a new page, I'm going to click View All Pages. And then I'm going to hit plus a page. And then I can give that page a title. I could even say the date if I want my students to know exactly what day they need to complete this on. And then I need to open my HTML editor here so that I can paste that embed code that I copied from my Google form. And then I'm going to hit save and publish. And there's my form. So you can see this is how the students would see it. So remember we made a few sections so in the first section, it just has a space for their name. It has the entire passage, and then it has them fill in the gist. So I will show you, for example, how I do that. So I read it. I put the gist. And then when I hit Next, I'm going to go to the second read section, where I'm focusing in on the skill of cause and effect. I'm reading just a selection of that text and then answering another question here. And when they're done, they hit submit. And those answers will go to your Google Drive. Um, so if you open the form and look at the responses, all of your students' responses will show in here. And so I can see that Alyssa completed this assignment. This is the gist that they wrote, and this was their answer for the question on the second read. So that's a quick and easy way to collect some data from your students 
and do close reading with Google Forms in Canvas. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy building Google Forms for close reading. Thank you.